So what do you want to do with your life? And he said, I want to change the world. And I said, well, where are you going to start? And he said, well, that's the difficult question, isn't it? And I told him, I said, uh, from that posture, you'll never change anything. Mm. You got to pick some square foot. You got to pick your, your square feet. You got to pick, you know, your, your, your landscape, your territory, your, you know, and, uh, and say, I'm going to change this part of the world. I'm going to make a difference in this. No, but I, I think a lot of it, I saw, I saw a quote, I think, I don't know who it was. I think it might have been Christian Bale who said, if you, if you want to critique me, you can call me. And if you don't have my number, you're not allowed to critique me because we don't actually have a relationship. There you go. So you can say whatever you'd like, but I'm not going to listen. And I think a lot of that like helped me understand because, you know, when, especially being a son, you get this. When you get criticized, I kind of just walked away from it. But when it's when it, when you start getting when I start getting criticized for things I misspoke or things that I said or maybe I didn't sell it say it well enough or maybe I have yellow white hair or for different whatever reasons that you get criticized I think you can end up starting to conform to what people want you to say to what you want to be I think something that was really freeing for me where you were like I don't care what you I don't care if you want to be a pastor I don't care if you I just want you in church I want you healthy I want you around people who bring you up and so like to the things the thirty people that you follow. Like, I only bring things into my soul, into my life that are actually producing either joy there you go. or interest there you go. or making me smarter. Absolutely. Sometimes it, they make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. occasionally. But other than that, I'm like, I don't, I don't want to be constantly depressed. I make yeah. sure that my screen time's down. I make sure that my, that my percentages are correct, right? That I'm, like, with people looking at someone's face more than I'm looking at the screen of their face. Yeah. Right, 100%. and so I, that that regulation we were talking about it. We we're like whether you were homeschooled or you went to school. Like, there's just a different level of like not having to be so showy or having to be so impressed yeah. or impressive to other people. Just understanding that you are loved and that you're here to love and build beautiful things in life. Yeah, and it's kind of scary for the uh, the generation underneath us yes. that are growing up. Yeah, you know, because we grew up when the internet finally yeah. became relevant in our teens, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And now kids are growing up where the internet rules the world. And mm. that, in that environment can, can a breed whole a world. whole nother thing that I don't think anybody has an answer to, but it's coming and, yeah. you know, even when we start having kids, that's something yeah. that we're gonna have yeah. to deal with big time, just yeah. instilling in them the right yeah. Values, you know. Mine's gonna grow up in a, in the middle of the woods with no electricity. So <laughs> I think I think I might move next. Time. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that sounds good. Erwin, you uh, said something earlier that I I feel like I want to circle back as we're kind of wrapping up here. You said um, something about don't mistake your post, you know, with action. Yeah. Uh, why don't you end this whole discussion with that? little bit of a lesson for us you know that you know a lot of people are just kind of feeling like they're scratching the itch of an issue when they're reposting an issue and it takes four seconds for them to copy paste post and they feel like they've you know uh landed somebody on the moon and all they've really done <laughs> is that and action is getting on an airplane going to malawi mm -hmm. and raising money to, to, you know, there's a, there's a big difference and people are got that confused in their heads, I think. I think what you said earlier is important too, that you want to give some props to awareness that when a person is posting something that's important, raising an issue, creating awareness, that the, that's a really positive thing. And so when a person is doing something to make sure that they're helping raise awareness, I want to diminish that. It's just that if it ends there, it never really found life. Got it. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I, I think you have to decide what issues get you up in the morning and get your time and energy and money. And there are issues that, that matter to uh, me. There are issues that matter to me and Kim as a, as a couple. There are issues that matter to us as a family and, uh, and as a church. Mm -hmm. And even as a church, we can't give ourselves to everything. So we give ourselves to things that, that matter and uh, to us that we can make a difference at. And when we take on a project, I always tell our team, look, I wanna be able to see something that has changed. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, and so building a school in Malawi is really tactile. I, I get to see the brick being made and the building going up and we're gonna get to see those 1600 kids in school next year and, and something real 
concrete and practical is going to happen out of that. And I love that we're doing that. And so I, I try to look at things and go, I can't make the whole world better, but I can pick one, one part of the world and make it better. Hmm. Years ago, this uh, guy came to meet me, a yeah, really brilliant guy, and, and I said, so what do you want to do with your life? And he said, I want to change the world. And I said, well, where are you going to start? And he said, well, that's the difficult question, isn't it? And I told him, I said, uh, from that posture, you'll never change anything. Hmm. Yeah. You got to pick some square foot. You got to pick your, your square feet. You got to pick, yeah. you know, your, your, your landscape, your territory, your, you know, and, uh, and say, I'm going to change this part of the world. Hmm. I'm going to make a difference in this. And so I, I, I just think that this generation needs to recognize that your voice is important, but words without action eventually become mirages and illusions. Feels like you're teaching on the parable of the sower here. Mm -hmm. You know, that a post and a forget about is the seed that fell on the rocky soil. Very quickly it yeah. disappears, you know, and to do the 30, 60, and 90 fold, this seed's got to go deep into the ground and you've got to really not have thin compassion. You have to have deep compassion for a matter. So you can and, plant and the think, seed deeper into the soil to yeah. fulfill it. Yeah, and especially if you're in your 20s, one of the most difficult questions to actually pause and ask yourself is, so 10 years from now, well, where will I be on this issue? Like, am I going to give myself to something enough that five years from now something is going to have an outcome? And, you know, we, we just try to do things momentarily. And so we're trying to be Johnny Appleseed, we're just yeah. dropping apple seeds all across the country. And, uh, and, and the reality is that most of us would do better if we just planted one oak mm -hmm. and said, I'm going to give my life to do this really, really, really well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Mother Teresa has made an impact on across the world, but my understanding is she spent her entire life in Calcutta. Mm -hmm. And if she hadn't have given herself to one place, to one mission, to one group of people, her influence across the world would have not been as significant. I think sometimes we want to have massive influence by doing very little. And, and the reality is that if you just choose something and give your life to it, it's amazing how God will expand your, your influence across the world. Yeah, Mother Teresa was once asked, how do you change the world? Mm -hmm. And she said, go home and love your family. Yeah. Wow. And that was, that's, that was where she wanted to start. <laughs> which is a great place to start. Yeah. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.